Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Scorpio. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get your energy for you and your person, Scorpio. Oh, okay, honeymoon phase. <laughs> All right. Maybe you just got married or somebody is thinking about getting married. This could be somebody that is wanting to enjoy a holiday together. Maybe somebody's going to pop the question when you go on a trip. Or this could be your honeymoon after you just got married. Let's see here. Or you could just be thinking about getting married and going on a honeymoon. Keep an open mind. Okay, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, what about your person here? We have true love. This could be your true love. It's being influenced. This could be a romance of a lifetime here. And then we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you this romance. So having that positive mindset will really help your person to stay optimistic because this is true love. Wow. What's your... Ah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so perhaps there's something here. Let's crack the deck and see let go of control issues so somebody may be trying to control this romance so that may be something that you talk about with this person this could be you trying to maybe go out to see um, and force where you go up and you meet somebody just because you maybe like the way they look or something or maybe they make eyes at you Spirit's going to bring in whoever it is. So you don't have to go out looking for it. It's going to come to you. So this person may have control issues or you may be trying to control the narrative here. Okay, Scorpio. So keep that in mind. Spirit's going to bring this to you. Let's look at what their intentions are or what your intentions are first. Okay, so... Heart with a key. You're welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. So your intentions are to welcome in a new love here. Could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be a new love either. Take however that resonates, flip it, switch it if you need to. If it sounds more like you on this side than this side, then take however it's resonating wow <laughs> you're welcoming in love and engagement partnership a commitment you may be a, a relationship type person you're not just looking for a one night stand you may be um, dating around to see who your perfect person is who you really connect with I feel like you're very um, I feel like you've Whoever you're going to come into contact and it feels right and there's a spark and a connection, I feel like this is really going to be a big impact with this true love here. There's going to be a lot of electric, electric magnetic kind of energy here. You may even feel your person before you see them. You may feel their energy. Now this is a big commitment here. Eternity is even on here. This is a union that's going to come together, a commitment of some sort with the engagement ring, with the honeymoon. Wow. <laughs> Their intention is to give you a ring or you are. If I'm talking to, it could be, it doesn't have to be a masculine either. I mean, women ask men to marry them all the time as well. So it's a new age for that kind of thing love unconditional love for your person self-love oneness passion affection attraction yes there's love here for your person towards you you are welcoming the new love or a love past or present or future 
Wow, you may have been in separation from this person, Scorpio. This may be a past person. Or in separation that you haven't met this person yet. This could be still someone new. You just haven't come together yet. You haven't met them yet. There's sadness here. You may even have that connection where you can talk to one another that telepathic type of love or sense one another. They're thinking about you, yearning for you, unsure of the future, really sad and missing you because of the separation. Ah, uh, not today, you're not having it. You may have boundaries up, you may have didn't want to talk to this person. Maybe they're, <laughs> they got the phone and it, he's holding the phone out like this, right? Away from his face. So, <laughs> not wanting to hear what this person has to say on the other end. So, avoiding a connection, a call, or a person, setting boundaries, maybe even still angry. So, this person may still be not willing to talk to you or you're not willing to talk to them because of the separation. Maybe they ghosted you, Scorpio, or walked away from you. So what's their intuition saying about you? Or let's look at you first. What is your intuition telling you about this person? Remember, there's red flags here. Maybe you don't trust this person anymore. Let's see. Relationship patterns. Okay, so this may be a pattern this person has done before. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So you may end up letting this person go because of the patterns you're seeing from this person. There's number five here, which is change. And this is insecurity or instability and conflict. What else is your intuition telling you about this person? Whoa, that's a lot. Spirit, we're not taking all those. Can I just get one more, please? What is your intuition saying about this person for Scorpio, please? Okay, I will take those two that want to come here. Let's see here. We have love who you are. I love it. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Number eight, this is taking action or resolution to something. Ask for help. Okay. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Number five, that's another change. So we have five, eight, five. Those might be numbers you want to plug in for the angel number messages. Let's see here. I always liked numerology, so. Whoa, we got some messages for your person. The union of hearts, a love connection defies explanation. So you may be really drawn to this person no matter what, even though, even though you have boundaries in place and you're not having it and you're holding the phone away from your ear, you don't want to talk to this person. That's going to end. Um, there is a union of hearts here. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So perhaps you end up talking to this person. This is a change. Maybe you have a change of mind or a change of heart here. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. So we have six here. So we have 10, 5, 6 for your person's numbers here. And six is that cooperation and harmony, but it's also restoring something that maybe was lost here. Let's see what we get for the bottom of the deck. We have like attracts like. 
if you long for more love be more loving so whatever you're looking to attract you have to become it for it to come in for you okay so let's have a look at their feelings your feelings let's see here what are the feelings that they have for you what are your feelings you feel for them first let's look at that first let's look on your side first your feelings about them how you're feeling about them now how's that how are your feelings about them now all right so we'll do three cards here okay we have yeah your heart chakra how it needs to open you have the spiritual strength and uh, support and maybe it becomes a friendship first maybe you have friends that help you here i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason so we have nine four here as well you can type in for yourself let's see what your person has for their side how they're feeling right now maybe you only saw this person as a friend they were never anything more than just a friend and maybe you want to extend that that you like them more than a friend let's see oh there is a disruption going on in their life right now and they're trying to use their intuition when it comes to this solar plex chakra so they may have a gut feeling about this person or this disruption that's going on here they're going to use their intuition you know that gut feeling of dread or um i shouldn't really be here or this isn't for me or i don't like the way i'm feeling about this and that is an indication that something's wrong or this isn't a good feeling because your senses are trying to alert you to something maybe those red flags ah. now remember <laughs> life isn't about changing people they are who they are so accepting people for who they are and that's what true friendship is all about it's not about being envious about somebody or jealous of somebody or getting back at people it's about loving people it's about accepting who they are no matter how they are and a true friend is going to accept you regardless of how you are and they accept you for who you are okay your authentic self right so let's have a look at the actions here oh we've got other cards in here that weren't supposed to be in here let's see i'll just stick those aside for now let's see because there were so many uh let's look at the actions for you just want to give those a shuffle because of those other cards okay what are the actions here for you? What are your actions doing here? Oh, enthusiasm. Your, your energy is heating up. There's some intense joy, igniting passion, some exhilaration or ecstasy here, some spark. Maybe you're sharing ideas with somebody. We have orgasm on here as well. Wow fever fierce get things going wow Ooh. then we have tornado boom baby <laughs> this is like the tower card this is something is brewing here something's torn up a sudden unexpected end something maybe even violent a total wreck a breakdown something that liberates over and done with the end wow so this may be something that catches you off guard this could be an ex something just unexpected and sudden we have sagittarius energy here with the number one and number eight here let's get one more card for you wow so this storm's brewing there may be an end there was something you were very enthusiastic about 
Maybe this Loon card here with number 10 is an ending so a new beginning can start. This is a deep committed, uncommon bonds, family manifesting deepest desire, all in for what you love, reawaken lost hopes. So, wow, number 10. So we have 1810 here. They may have an A in their name. Let's see here <laughs> with the actions. What's their actions? So it looks like things are coming to an end here. Some storms brewing or something unexpected is going to ignite here. And it may end up in a deeply committed relationship I'm kind of getting here. Oh, we got three for your person as well. We have yoga. So they may be spiritual as well. This is a Libra. We have contemplation, deep breath work here, go within, balance, taking a break from something, time alone, balance chakras, reflecting, wellness, getting rest. Four and Libra here. We also have house, belonging, roots. So somebody may go home, maybe go and look into their family history, where their roots come from, traditions, could be framework, boundaries are here, and shelter, structured, something structured. This is about a home, and a house isn't always a home, right? A house can just be a house until you have somebody that's there with you to help you make that a loving home, right? Let's see, we have the heart, love, romance, joy, bliss, heart's desires, content, forgiveness, passion, and caring, kindness, and fulfillment. Wow. That's 24 that breaks down to the six with the jack of hearts. Wow. Okay. Well, six is about restoring something, maybe restoring a house. Maybe there's a love of a house here. Maybe they're going to make a business here with a yoga studio or something here. This is something you take shelter um, or go within to do. You like your, your person likes their alone time, I'm kind of getting. Definitely romance coming in here. And this is going to be sun and ex unexpected for you. So this, it feels like this person's the one that's planning it. Maybe buying a home for you and them to be in. Wow. Sudden and unexpected here once again. Ripping off the band-aid. Surprise. <laughs> Reckoning. We have the Jack of Diamonds. Jack of hearts, jack of diamonds. Okay. And I feel like that's a page energy. You both have page energy here. Page of hearts. And the page of diamonds, I'm trying to remember, is... Huh. <laughs> you know, um... Hmm. I'd have to look that up again because it's been a while since I've looked at the uh, regular cards and what they mean for that. I, I feel like it's the page of diamonds is the page of pentacles. So that's somebody that grows money independently, is diligent and grounded financially goal oriented learning they like to learn things they're very ambitious and this is your combined energy so this other person has the page of cups maybe very young at heart kind and emotional insights happy news this could be happy news to this person and number six is restoring something maybe the house Maybe for you two to live in. Let's have a look at what might be outside forces for you here. Let's see outside forces for Scorpio. For you, what might be influencing you here? 
Um, a female in your energy might be influencing you on some level here. Here and now. So they're influencing right now. There's a change in the wind, which is number three, which is a group of people maybe that are women, could be friends. Doesn't have to be all women either. It's a group. There's a change here though in the here and now. There's something that ended that is going to regenerate and bring in the milk and honey for you with the number six. That's that restoring the cooperation and harmony. Somebody might be suggesting something here that might end up being the right road to go down here. Let's have a look for your person. Oh, they do breath work, so breathing. And I thought that yoga, they may have been in an ending here with a karmic partner with a never ending story where it's a karmic cycle that just keeps going around. Nobody's growing. It's like a standstill. It's not anything that happens. And it's just the same old, same old all the way around all the time. Yeah, there's some work to do here. Number six on restoring something here. <laughs> and being flexible about an ending or being flexible about something here. Wow. Maybe they're not taking enough time to rest. They may be asking themselves why about something or somebody's asking them, why do you want to be with this person? And isn't that funny that there's no place like home has come up and the house card is here. There's a change going to happen here. They're asking, why am I doing this? Why am I with this person that's in this rut around and around and around and around? And that could just be settling with somebody. Oh, there's going to be a blessing here with the master number 22. This is ascended masters. There's somebody's, you're both blessed. I feel like you're, because this is your combined energy. You both are blessed individuals here. Let's have a look at what lessons you may have learned here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, way too many, but wow, yeah, way too many. So I was going to take the pile for both of you, but that's just too many. That's a lot of lessons you've learned, I take it. So, oh, you're a woman holding a coin. You want victory. Second chakra is your sacral chakra. That's with pleasure, sensuality, emotions, creativity about love. Let's see about your person here. Strategy about something. Oh, they're walking their temple path. They may have found their purpose. Ah, oh, door to spirit. They could be very religious or spiritual. There's a change here too. They may have strategized something. That might be that unexpected energy coming through here. And we have Goddess of the Moon, number seven, which is reflecting, assessing knowledge and spirituality. And I feel like they might teach you about more about spirituality. If you're watching this, you may already be spiritual, but I feel like they're gonna help you learn more about spirituality or explain things or you both might get on the same path here the goddess of the moon let's touch on that for a second here the moon is about compassion there's maybe some illusion that surface or something's going to surface this could be internal conflict that you have some fear or insecurities here so i feel like with the victory here and the sacral, they're sensual. This is this is something that is things that you have learned. And this is about having those feelings about love with the second chakra. Maybe it's not about having a victory. It's not um, 
who's gonna win and it, it may not be it's not a competition between the two of you it should be the two of you coming together as a team whatever you're doing benefits your your teammate and whatever your teammates doing is ben benefiting you it's all in together it's not about who's doing better who's got what and that you're less than or they're less than because of what status is it doesn't matter what you have it's about how you love love is the highest frequency there is so we didn't touch on your true heart's desires so let's have a look at that one first before we get the messages from spirit or advice from spirit all right let's get your person we got two messages of their heart's desires let's get one more for your person these are so slickery okay let's see here so a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you oh so you may be feeling that for your person oh and passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it and this is <laughs> funny that that's coming up because the second chakra is the sacral it is about pleasure it is about all those beautiful feelings and emotions okay so let's look at your person let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives so you shouldn't lose who you are in a relationship because you should still be true to self about who you are and your true intentions on how you feel about that person it should never be um, where you're wearing a mask because eventually that mask starts to slip off and your your authentic self comes out. And if you've been kind of being something that you're not and then your true nature comes out or your true authentic self comes out, it might be a bit of a rude awakening for this person if they see you as one way they're going to accept you for that person and if you become someone else <laughs> they may not understand what is going on so always be true authentic to yourself and others oops i'll just be okay sorry about that i got the phone and now i'm back okay so Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. I think we just talked about that. Being true to self and accepting each other for who you truly are. Wait, don't rush into it allow nature to take its course so that's about that controlling let go of control issues now whether that's you or your person it's kind of saying it might be your person so taking the time if they want to rush you into something that's where you need to take a step back and kind of wonder why they want to rush it um with you there's usually uh, hidden intentions behind somebody that's trying to kind of push you into something that you're not really sure of okay so my suggestion to you maybe even spirits because this is what's coming through for me is waiting a bit longer taking the time to use your intuition to really hear what your intuition might be trying to tell you putting the brakes on a bit and slowing things down and take the time to make your decision don't let other people influence your decision after all it is your life being true to self is in your best best interest here because we only get one life right and if we settle with all these different people that we're not meant to be with I mean, you're really wasting your time and the other person's time if 
you had no intention of really staying with them or if you're thinking about someone else while you're with somebody then you've kind of settled you know if you haven't actually gone after what you truly desire right you have really kind of settled so let's look at what spirit has to say so you have a lot of passion there might be messages you get from spirit but you need to take the time to see what your intuition is telling you. So what does spirit have for you? Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. And I feel like sometimes people don't realize that there is a hierarchy in the spiritual realm as well, okay? When it comes to things. So... <laughs> You may have ancestors or passed over loved ones here that are in this hierarchy hierarchy where you may not realize how high up on that hierarchy that you're dealing with. And when somebody is an earth angel, say, you never want to mess with an earth angel because really they are chosen ones of God. So and they're doing God's work. So if you mess with somebody like that, expect a lot of karma coming back. And my suggestion is never mess with anybody. I mean, not in a negative way. It, you shouldn't want bad things to happen to other people. Essentially, when you're thinking about that or saying those things out loud, you're really um, using black magic because it's all negative, low energy. So Scorpio, remember who you are and always have good words to say about people because what we say is what we manifest. All right, let's see here. Clear your space. Perhaps you have a lot of negative energy around you or um, in your space that you need to clear out. Maybe you need to sage. Maybe uh, get your vibration up with the vibration sticks and uh, smudging. So clear your space, Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you using Feng Shui. And that's a really a, a lifestyle, really. Okay, let's see one more for you. Courage. Yeah, you have the courage to stand up for what you believe in, okay? Don't let anybody make you feel less than on what you believe in even if they're not their beliefs too doesn't mean that your beliefs are wrong you believe in what you believe they can believe in what they believe now your person may be an indigo child which is from uh, the 1950s up to the 1980s and then we have the crystal children from the 80s to the 2000s and then we have the rainbow children from 2000 and up and so you may have an indigo or a crystal child you may be one of those children or your person is so they may have been born um, up to 1980 or they could be a crystal child which is the 1980s to the 2000s Let's see here. What else for your person? Overcoming difficulties. So they are overcoming some difficulties here. Maybe there you have a separation. Maybe you were married to this person. You may be just keeping an open mind for someone new to come in. Maybe this is a friend that you've been friends with, but another, uh, maybe you're free from someone else. Maybe you had an ending and now you're getting back to a friendship with somebody that may become more than, than what it was ever before. Let's see one more. Hello from heaven, Archangel Ariel. Or Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So your 
person is getting blessings coming in here. So, and they may be, with this door to spirit and being on their path here, they may already be speaking to spirit here. So, what's your combined energy um, uh, advice from spirit? Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life so set your intentions to manifest those blessings that you want to come in manifesting powers here that you have what well, anybody can do it's just a matter of knowing how so let's see what the outcome is here for you and your person scorpio we have expectations. So you may be expecting some type of ending to happen with the number 10 there. Okay, yeah, you may have felt imprisoned in the marriage or um, just feeling like you want to be free from this person. This is your uh, Ascended Masters coming in. Yeah, there is an ending here with the number 10 and the coffin coming up. So an ending to some type of relationship or marriage on your side. Let's see about your person. What's outcome for your person? They may be in bad health right now. Maybe some could be the flu. It could be an illness. It could be an accident they were in. It could be... Uh, a setback from their success. Um, uh, kind of getting nine of wands here kind of feeling. Oh, this may be a mature woman that is having these issues. Oh, but there's a great fortune coming in for your person with the number eight. Wow. So, <laughs> All right, so somebody is in bad health that may be a mature woman here who has a fortune that maybe they have the fortune left to this mature woman or it could be a woman that passes over uh, from bad health and inheritance of a great fortune happens for your person. Now, you may be expecting somebody to be going to jail um, and they may pass over as well. Now, this could, it may not have anything to do with death. They may just have a cold. This woman here may have a cold <laughs> and somebody wins the lottery, okay? Or it could be um, you're expecting somebody to feel like they can't get away from a relationship or you both feel this. Maybe you're in a relationship and you're feeling stuck to this person and want to end the relationship. So take it however it resonates for you. Flip it, switch it however you need to uh, to make it resonate for you. All right. Now this has to do with the courtship here and stability. So perhaps this courtship happens after some type of endings here. Wow. Okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck here. I'm just going to flip them a bit here to see what we get for the bottom of the deck. Oh, we had one flip here as well. Oh, we had a couple flip. Okay, we have, wow, they're all in the reverse too. Is this upside down? Yeah, it is upside down. I usually have it that way. All right, so there may be an ending. You get some type of truth, and somebody sees you for being a sweetheart. And I'm really feeling like it really needed to be in the upright, okay? And maybe it could still be in... <laughs> maybe things haven't ended yet. You haven't gotten the truth yet. And someone is seeing you in a bad light as being um, emotionally overwhelming, emotionally draining, manipulative, needy, and clingy. So take it how it resonates for you. There could be with that, it could be, um, what do you call that? 
codependency issues. Okay, and let's have a look and see what comes up here. We'll know for sure if this needs to be in the upright or in the reverse. We'll see what happens after tarot here. I want to get one card. Okay. The four of pentacles in reverse, but I don't usually do reversals. So I'm kind of getting with this four of pentacles that this may be a fixation on wealth that ends may not be so fixed on wealth as much as you were about coveting your wealth or that wealth is everything or your status is built on wealth or you're less than unless you have wealth. It doesn't matter how much you have, it's about who and how you are with people when it shows your love. Now love is the highest frequency there is Love isn't based on how much you have or what you have in terms of items, like toys. Like, I mean, when I say toys, I mean like a boat and a, and a um, um, snowmobile and a jet ski and a boat and, you know what I mean? Like those big boy toys, <laughs> if you want to call it. So... This also could mean that there's a lot of saving going on, trying to get some financial stability coming in, being maybe a little too cautious about their money, okay, or your money. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person, the Knight of Cups, now usually I have them in the upright because I don't really read these in the negative or in the reversed. So this person might be... Um, Loving the idea of love, of course, with the Knight of Cups, but and being very charming and creative and maybe very um, beautiful and heartfelt romance, that charming kind of person. They're also drinking out of their own cup as well. It's still about giving that cup or walking away and having that self-love so take that however you want to resonate with that okay Let's see what was on the bottom here wow <laughs> that ten of pentacles is kind of saying that this courtship becomes something of a legacy here with family uh, wealth ten of pentacles is the um emotional happiness or oh no that's ten of cups sorry um I don't know why I was thinking cups. Um, Ten of Pentacles, that, that's more of um, the family life, the, the legacy, the inheritance, the property, kind of the traditions. I feel like, <laughs> what is he holding? He's holding a remote control and she's, no, they're both holding boats little modeled boats. So this is all about enjoying the fruits of their labor with their family, leaving that legacy of money for generations to come. This is all about that emotional harmony, affluence, gaining through traditions or strong foundations. This is family life. This is generational solid foundations that they've built. There was strong boundaries behind that as well. So I feel like if it's an ex that comes back, you're not taking, maybe they try to propose to you. And I'm kind of getting that your intuition is telling you to watch for something here. Yeah, relationship patterns was what was said to you. You may see the patterns of this person over and over and over again, only giving so much, maybe some type of manipulation or trying to push you into something that maybe you don't want to do, okay? And we got not today. You're not having it. There's an ending here so a new beginning can come in that's going to lead you to some beautiful energies here. You're going to take back your power here. You are blessed, and your person is too. 
there's going to be something that happens. Maybe a friend's going to lead you to this person. Now, you may end up having a regeneration or renewal of self. Or it could be this relationship. But I feel like... I feel like it's a true love because there is true love here. And it, this may not be the person you're thinking it's going to be. It may not be the ex or someone from your past. This might be a new person. I feel like they are restoring a house that maybe was left to them when they meet you. And this may be you both make it your home. A home, home, home is coming in. We have home here, we have home here, no place like home. So, and this may be very spiritual. Maybe you do yoga as well. Maybe they do yoga, but there's some spiritual elements to this as well. This is gonna be a sudden, unexpected thing that happens here. Could be an ending for you with your person. Um, this could be, you are going to end things with your person that you're with now. Maybe you're starting to see the red flags. Maybe you're starting to see the patterns that you weren't seeing before. I really like this for you, Scorpio. But this is what I have, so please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. And take care. Stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right. Later.